Hi Simmers. Hey everyone. Welcome to Make2 and a special walkthrough of balconies. We're going to show you in this quick video what's possible with balconies, what isn't possible and try and give you some design ideas as well. Yeah, and just to point out, we have at this time of the recording only had the patio quest and balconies quest. For the schedule of all future quests, please check our video description below. Just click on show more. That's thanks to some great information from Katerina Perturby of the unofficial Sims Free Play Forum. Okay, with that, let's get stuck in. So we're going to start on the first floor and just to say, in case you didn't already know, which you probably do, that you can actually have stairs on the outside leading up to a balcony, but actually these are normal, st these are normal home stairs, they aren't the special patio stairs. So you can put any stairs you like outside. Second thing, there's a swimming pool in the middle here, and then next to it, a patio, which I've managed to get in two different patterns. And just bear in mind that this is all here, but we have balconies above going over all of these elements, just to show that you can have balconies over patios and balconies stretching over swimming pools as well. On wow. the second floor, things get nuts, and we actually <laughs> show you, I'm gonna show off some weird things you can do with oh, balconies. Oh my goodness. This gold one in kind of the middle of the screen is the most crazy. Uh, it extends across the entire lot. It is not supported by anything and it's only attached at this very end of this weird <laughs> skinny kind of makeshift building I made. So the trick here is a balcony has to be within three blocks of a building, but it doesn't have to be within three blocks of the building to which it is attached. So as long as it's as long as the balcony is near any other building, it's it's a valid balcony. Okay, so because the side of the skinny balconies are within three blocks of these structures, they can be extended that far without any problem. Yes, within other buildings that are of the same height. So this is a, the second story, so these buildings here on the right also need to be two stories. And if they are, right. okay. well, yeah, so if I show you the balcony view here oh my God. <laughs> of where you can build, oops, of where you can build balconies, yep. it's anything within this yellow line, sure. which is basically the entire property. <laughs> because you've, if you space your buildings in the right way, you can kind of build your patio, your balconies anywhere. So that's this big, long central one. So that does open up some strange possibilities including here you've got balconies that directly link between two buildings and they're six blocks wide each so that's quite cool you can link buildings with these kind of covered these walkways between them which is nice this steel and glass balcony here connects buildings in the same way but at right angles you can have a long thin one and then connect it with right angles next to it however you like to connect this building at the back to this central building here. The next thing to know, I don't quite know how to explain it, but hopefully you can see it. This balcony here where the table and chairs are actually, I know, eats up part of the building itself. So the building below extends out towards where this balcony is and the balcony then covers part of the property. Sure. Does yeah, that make I've, sense? Yeah, I've been doing that in my town actually. Yeah, so you can make Effectively, the second floor, the second floor rooms of this building occupy less space than the first floor rooms because the balcony eats up part of that space of the building. Yeah. And at the end of showing you this kind of tour of all these weird features, I'll show you where I've kind of done that in the extreme just to see what that could look like. And spoiler, that means you can also make rooftops, which are all balcony. Exactly. We'll be showing that later. Yeah. So. The only thing I want to show is you can also have stairs on balconies going up to other balconies. Sounds pretty cool. Yep. Okay, let's go up to the third floor. There's only three floors so far because that's as far as we got in the quest. Here is broadly more of the same, more crazy balconies. I've tried to color code them so you can see, see the different ones here from these different views. This is crazy. Yeah, so I think the main thing here is to say is that balconies can over can go over other balconies below them in any way you like there's no connection between what a balcony is below and what the balcony must be above but okay hold on so this black and steel balcony here 
it feels like there's one stretch of this which is not three blocks away from a building. Is that right? Uh, this stretch that's on the right. Okay, so I guess... Yeah, that's weird. What's going on? So we're at this T-junction yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Uh, where the blob sign is. That actually is within... It has to be within three in either direction, so you actually get a diagonal three as well. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah. And then you get... Actually, no, I think you... Yeah, that's just... This doesn't look... But that only takes us a certain way. Right. And then the next building also gets diagonal three. So okay. as long as you're within... As long as your buildings are spaced six apart at maximum, then you can build balconies anywhere. So these two, the, the building with this marble balcony and the bu little building over here, this two by two room, mm -hmm. they're separated by six, <laughs> six blocks. And therefore you can build a balcony between. And this, the, while we're on it, this big black balcony is actually made of three balconies, one extending down from the top of the screen from this building here one extending across from here and one extending from this little building going this way yeah so you just the drew the balconies separately yeah. yeah the only thing is you every single balcony must start from a building sure. you can't just i couldn't build about i couldn't make this balcony bulge in the middle right it has to every start of any you, bit you draw it has to be connected to a building so you can only make a t balcony and not a cross balcony is what you're saying uh, i could make a cross balcony here to well if there was a building, building. Sure. yeah yeah, but you can't, I couldn't like make this whole, make it fatter in the middle. I could make it too wide in the middle and not at the edges. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, the, the sort of overlapping balconies. Here you can see again, I've had part of a balcony eating up part of a house. And over here, as you said, here is a balcony that's can kind of turned basically into a rooftop terrace garden. Yeah. And then with an extra extension to join it to another building. <laughs> So yes, so the way that you build the rooftop balcony is instead of, well basically you create your second or third floor and then instead of building a room, you just build a balcony over the entire spot. Yeah, you just draw a balcony where rather than building it off, rather than building it on some of these, these yellow areas between the buildings, just literally paint it on top of the building. Yep. And if you, if you don't have a room on that floor, then you're good to go. The only other thing to point out something you can't do, again, we'll come to this planning view. You see here I've got a one-story building in the center with this roof, and you'll see the yellow, the yellow lines are where you can draw balconies. I could extend this balcony all the way there if I wanted to, but I couldn't extend this balcony over this foot. So you can't have a balcony extending over a building. So Which, if you, if you could, that would be super cool, but you can't. Yeah. So basically, you can extend over a pool, you can extend over a patio, but not over another building structure. But as it is, you know, I think if you extend this to four or five floors, it does get super crazy. I have designed it so that a sim can go from any one place in this uh, complex to any other place. <laughs> All the doors and uh, stairways and everything else do work. So imagine this, but more so with five stories. So I think you can get some kind of really weird maybe industrial factory like structures by doing crazy things like this it kind of looks like industrial walkways on some kind of power plant yeah we should be getting five floors next week on may 14th according to reliable information which we are putting in the video description below just just in case you guys want to ask because i know you probably will and if you want to see this extended to five floors with more crazy balconies then give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments below. And can I just say that the spaghetti maze of this property is kind of like how I imagine your brain probably <laughs> works because like I would never think to do anything like this and you always have some weird and quirky design for something. Well, thanks so much. I think I'm the weird designer, <laughs> but you're the tasteful, <laughs> beautiful, functional designer. So I think we complement <laughs> each other well. But this does give me thoughts. If any of you have seen my house where the Joker lives, which had a maze on the second floor. Yeah. I think now I could really do a crazy maze. On, yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll get there, but not today.
And it's a good thing that you're the one who's taking primary responsibility with the Hogwarts castle because that requires your particular strengths. Well, thank you. Let's take a look at another house I've made. This is... Aww. Uh, kind of looks like a wedding cake. Yeah. Uh, but this is just to show that how you can just have balconies solely going, uh, occupying kind of the roof of each floor to eat away at the building to create this kind of pyramid wedding cake effect. Yeah, cute. I've got one more to show you. I really like Twilight in Simtown, by the yeah. way. It's really pretty. So this is a work in progress. Wowzers. So with that caveat. Oh my goodness. My attempt here is to build something that will be on five stories. It's obviously got a swimming pool below, but it's kind of a swimming pool, an indoor swimming pool complex. So I don't quite know what it's going to look like, but this is just to show kind of some symmetrical balcony work. Again, the balcony is going directly over the pool. But I like to have kind of the balconies not really connected to very much, but occupying an entire floor. So you just have one huge balcony that would just be like a like uh, you know a very big room in a house okay uh, so that's my kind of aim but I'm gonna see what I don't know it might kind of end up looking a bit like a, a Star Trek next generation 3 chess set <laughs> yeah well it'll be interesting to see what it ends up being yeah. yeah so these are my crazy designs but let's now check out some more tasteful and cool designs that you've started working on well I've just been remodeling some of the existing houses in my town and I'm still saving up money to do stuff with the three new premium lots we got on the island but yeah let's go check out my Instagram where I've been posting some pictures and these are balconies that I've slotted onto the back of one of my teen idol mansions and you can see also in the pool there is an outdoor gazebo now with some of the new building techniques and here is another little balcony that I put on the end of my Scandinavian inspired house. And another balcony on my Hunger Games house. And experimenting with a balcony on a houseboat restaurant that I plan to do a tour of later. Wow. My hotel, which we've also done a previous video of. Now the luxury suites have their own balconies. And now my cafe coffee shop has its own private rooftop for the owners. And here's the houseboat again. I decided instead of the balcony on the front, I was just going to do a whole rooftop dining area. So look forward to the tour of that original house design later. Cool. Thanks so much for sharing. <laughs> So that has been a tour of the balcony possibilities. I hope it's given you lots of ideas and hints and tips of what to do in your own town in Sims Free Play. And we also want to do a quick shout out to Sim Gilliams, who is a fantastically generous simmer who has been posting videos on his YouTube of things that are possible and interesting in Sims Free Play. He's also got a blog that he's starting up and that'll be linked in the video description below as well as well as a link to his Facebook group, which he is an admin of Sims Free Play Hints and Cheats and Advice. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think or what you're doing with balconies in the comments below. Please subscribe to our channel because more videos like this will be coming soon. Thanks for watching.